मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू लक्ष्य अकेडमी यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई एक्सप्लेन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एनर्जी बैंड्स इन सॉलिड्स ड्रॉ ए ग्राफ बिटवीन इंटर एटॉमिक डिस्टेंस एंड एनर्जी बाय टेकिंग इंटर एटॉमिक डिस्टेंस अलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस एंड एनर्जी अलॉन्ग वाई एक्सिस and consider silicon atom the atomic number of silicon is 14 its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and 3p2 and in the graph on inter atomic spacing axis i consider four points a b c and d by using the graph i will explain the formation of valence band and conduction band and this is the small video and silicon electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p2 outermost orbit has four electrons third orbit is outermost orbit the valency of silicon is 4 so silicon ready to form four covalent bond with other atoms consider the number of atoms in a crystal is n the number of energy states in the outermost orbit for each silicon atom is 8 Two in three s and six in three p. So for total number of atoms n, the available energy states is eight n. Okay, this is the graph. And in the graph, I highlighted the part at D. When r equal to infinity, that means Uh, the inter atomic distance is very very high there is no influence of uh, energy levels of one atom with the energy levels of uh, other atoms when atoms come closer there may be overlap of energy levels for an isolated atom energy levels are discrete when r equal to od students you observe that the blue lines are inner shells the inner shells are unaffected and when r equal to od the energy levels are discrete the next one when oc less than r less than od in the graph i pointed with arrow no splitting of energy levels takes place in this region but there is a tendency of a splitting of energy levels it means that here atoms come little bit closer and develops tendency of splitting of energy levels when r equal to oc it means that the atoms further come closer and interaction between between the atoms increases so in this case outermost shell electrons intra interact very strongly Uh, with uh, the other atoms so there may be splitting of energy levels takes place so in the graph uh, that uh, arrow pointed region shows about that the next case when r is in between ob and oc 
in the graph uh, I highlighted with the circle interatomic distance is further more decreased the energy corresponding to s and p levels of each atom gets slightly changed and observe that in the diagram so for 2n levels are available for s level and 6n levels for p level so here there may be chance to form the energy band energy band can be formed when interatomic distance between the atoms is decreased the energy levels uh, energy level becomes an energy band the collection of very closely spaced energy levels is called an energy band the next case when r equal to ob that means uh, the interatomic distance further decreased the energy gap disappears so the tot total eight n levels are formed for n atoms out of 8n levels 4n are filled and 4n are unfilled dear students observe that in the diagram that region in the graph observe carefully that region when r equal to ob the energy gap disappears so totally 8n levels are formed 4n are filled and 4n are unfilled and the final state is when r equal to oa i highlighted in the graph that region that means interatomic distance further more decreased because of strong interactions the band of 4n filled energy levels separated from 4n unfilled energy levels and i mentioned in the graph with the blue arrow there is energy gap between these two the energy gap is specially named as forbidden energy gap and among total 8n states they div divided into two parts 4n states and 4n states one of the 4n states completely filled the lower completely filled energy band is called as valence band the lower completely filled energy band is called valence band uh, this valence band is formed by the valence electrons and here electrons are bounded each other so there is no mobility the upper unfilled band is called as conduction band the upper unfilled band is called as conduction band in conduction band free electrons are available and electrons cannot reside in the forbidden energy gap in the case of silicon crystal the interatomic distance is in the range of 1 angstrom to 7 angstrom uh, students uh, this is the explanation of how energy band can form in uh, solids 
I try to conclude this concept. Students careful that when I explain about some particular point in the graph and you pointed your finger at that and try to understand the concept because this is not the live board. So for that you have to be careful. Yeah, an isolated atom has discrete energy levels. Isolated has atom has discrete energy levels. Solids can uh, the in solids atoms are closely packed. That means uh, the distance between the atoms is very very less. So in that case, there is possibility of overlapping of energy levels of outermost shells of one atom with another atoms. Because of that overlapping of energy levels, energy band can form. Okay, note down that. Isolated atom has discrete energy levels. When the atoms are come closer, there is a strong interaction between the atoms and because of that, uh, uh, the energy levels overlap uh, and because of that overlapping, uh, energy bands can form. And come to that graph once again. In the graph, consider the interatomic spacing axis. As we move from infinity towards the origin, note down, as we move from infinity towards the origin, it means that the interatomic space goes on decreasing so in the in the graph i am trying to explain what happens as the interatomic space goes on decreasing okay when r equal to infinity means the distance between the two atoms is infinity so there is no interaction between the atoms so each individual atom has its own discrete energy levels there is no overlapping so as r that means interatomic distance decreases at a certain region that means after c towards o there is a tendency of uh, overlapping of energy levels uh, starts at that uh, particular point uh, C towards O. So from infinity to C point there is uh, no overlapping of energy levels that means uh, so at that particular situation the interaction between the atoms starts. So because of that, the tendency of overlapping of energy levels takes place and up beyond C, the energy levels splits and forming 2n possible s values and 6n possible s values uh, sorry, p values uh, totally 8n values and when we close to the point b totally 8n levels are possible among that 8n possible levels, 4n are filled and 4n are unfilled. 
and if we move closure from B to A the interactions uh, dominates uh, interaction between the atoms uh, further increases uh, so uh, that uh, forces between the atoms uh, uh, increases uh, so because of that uh, there is a splitting of energy levels uh, there may be split of 4n filled energy levels and 4n unfilled energy levels so the energy band formed by the valence electrons is called as valence band and energy band formed by the 4n unfilled energy levels is called as conduction band so here there is a gap between a valence band and a conduction band this gap is called as forbidden energy gap and electrons can't reside in forbidden energy gap note down students okay and in the case of silicon silicon crystal the range of interatomic space is about 1 angstrom to 7 angstrom so on interatomic space distance if i consider a point uh, which represents the 5 angstroms uh, and that indicates the forbidden energy gap that shows the forbidden energy gap in the case of silicon uh, the forbidden energy gap is about 1.1 electron volt at 300 kelvin temperature at 0 kelvin temperature it is about 1.21 electron volt and in the next class we discuss about conduction band valence band and forbidden energy gap how they looks like in the case of conductors semiconductors and insulators in the next class i will explain that concept okay so the final conclusion is as the interatomic distance goes on decreasing the discrete energy levels and overlaps forming the energy band okay okay dear uh, thank you and one uh, one uh, once again uh, you write down the notes and next class and we will discuss the conductors semiconductors and insulators thank you